If Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. were to run for president today, I believe that he would say this in his campaign speech. My fellow Americans, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And as your president, I want to lead this country into the glorious light of love. Now, before I present my platform, allow me to address the elephants in the room. I'm 86 years old, and I'm a candidate for the President of the United States of America. However, according to my physician, I was healthy as any man half my age. And I look pretty good too, don't I? More importantly, I'm a candidate who is educated. I'm a candidate who is experienced. And I'm a candidate who has evolved and has his finger on the pulse of this great nation and is ready to meet her needs. And what she needs now is to be reunited. As your president, I will financially support all communities who will partner with me in my Reunite America initiative. What is it? Simply put, it encourages communities to seek more culturally diverse solutions to their challenges. In order for this to happen, the cultures must work together. Now, to the Snapchat, Tweet, and Texters, you are valuable. However, in order for this initiative to work, you can't just check in. You have to show up. Let's reunite America for her people. Why? Because I am convinced that men hate each other because they fear each other. They fear each other because they don't know each other. They don't know each other because they don't communicate, and they don't communicate because they are separated. If Dr. King were to run for president today, I believe he would say, let's reunite America in purpose. Why? Because a house divided against itself cannot stand. Out of the 318 million American citizens, 46 million are living in poverty, and 14% are illiterate. Why? Because a house divided against itself cannot effectively stand against poverty. A house divided against itself cannot effectively stand against illiteracy. And a house divided against itself cannot effectively stand together in arms. My brothers and sisters, there has never been a greater need for unity than there is right now. For as long as we are divided, we are vulnerable. If Dr. King were running for president today, I believe he would say, let's reunite America for peace. Listen, 50 years ago, I picked up my drum major baton and successfully led a band of multicultural brothers and sisters down the field of social and economic inequality to the clear plains of brotherhood. I want to do that again. As your president, as your president, I will stand firmly like the Statue of Liberty as a symbol of hope and peace. As your president, I will pray fervently for a more cohesive America from the schoolhouse to the White House and everywhere in between. As your president, I will work tirelessly with my Reunite America partners to seal the open gaps of hate with the bonds of brotherhood so that while our soldiers are away fighting for our freedom, our communities are at home strengthening our foundations until once again we are back on the feet of fellowship and are walking in the direction of peace and progress so that one day, our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren will live in a land that love built. Let's reunite America for people.